so friends uh, now we are moving to the one of the very attractive techniques of the vedic mass that is urdhva triyagyam in english we call it as vertically crosswise which is known as the crowning gem of vedic mass why it is known as crowning gem of vedic mass why because okay it is the ultimate technique okay with which with the help of which we can multiply any number into any number within a single line and we can get the answer without much strain and that too within less time so let us see how to multiply any digit into any digit within a single line okay and that too within the less time first we will start with double digit into double digit before the, starting the technique i want to tell you one thing in this one we have to follow some patterns if you can understand the patterns okay or if you can understand the logic behind the patterns okay you can multiply any digit into any digit of your own now let us see the patterns how they will be first first we'll go through the double digit into double digit okay now now let us start the pattern fine for explaining the pattern i will follow one uh, logic okay first see here right so first first goes to first first goes to second second goes to first and finally second goes to second let us assume these dots as digits suppose 24 into 36 i want to multiply 24 into 36 there are three steps in double digit into double digit multiplication three steps so what is the first step see here uh, there are uh, let us suppose i will tell you in a little dramatic way so that you can understand easily first let us assume the top top two dots are rooms room number 1 and room number 2 okay we have to start from the right side if we start from the right side this will be our room 1 and this will be our room 2 below there are two persons this will be the person 1 and this will be the person 2 okay now we have three conditions what are the three conditions first condition first condition is the persons who are below okay they have okay who may be the persons okay how many number of persons it is irrespective okay so what are be the number of persons it is irrespective okay whomever it may be in the below there are persons okay every person has to reach to room 2 that is the last one okay to reach to room 1 okay he has to go in a sequential way first he has to go for room 1 then room 2 then room 3 if at all is there okay like that he has to go okay and second condition no two persons can directly enter into one room so the three conditions we have to follow in this one the persons who are below they have to approach to the last room okay if they want to approach to the last room first they have to go in a sequential order first they have to go for the room 1 then in the second step room 2 then room 3 and room 4 like that they have to go in a sequential order step by step okay and second condition no two persons can directly approach into one room no two persons can directly approach into one room only one person can go into one room at a time and third condition right so this one works through first some first come first serve basis that means who is who is the one uh, stood first in the queue he will go to the first room okay now the person two has no chance now in the second step the person one goes to the room 2 then only the person two got a chance to go to room 1 like that the first come first serve for basis will go now now let us start in the double digit into double digit there are three steps now first person goes to the first room this is the first step now second person has no chance in the second step first person goes to room 1 room 2 and second person goes to room 1 why because he is waiting for the chance whenever the room 1 get vacant okay the person 2 directly enter into room 1 that means in the second step only person 2 will start now so the person 1 reached the two room second room all the rooms okay his work is over now we don't know no, no need of this person okay now come to the third step now in the third step second person goes to second room so there the work ends okay now we'll apply the same technique to the numbers just imagining the dots as numbers okay first we'll start with from the right side 
here the arrow mark which is there okay that indicates the multiplication between those two digits okay that means you tell me now uh, which digits i need to multiply in this one yes exactly four six times what is four six times 24 so i will draw four carry two now second step first goes to second second goes to first okay remember whenever there is an overlap of arrow marks whenever there is an overlap of arrow marks you need to cross multiply those products and you need to add the products you need to cross multiply the numbers and you need to add the products now you tell me what are the products here 2 6 are 2 1 4 3 are 2 1 2 1 plus 2 1 24 24 and what is the carry you should not forget the carry so 24 plus 2 26 so drop 6 carry 2 now what is the last step last step is 2 3 is a 6 now 6 and what is the carry 2 so 6 plus 2 is 8 so our answer is 864 you may think that so why we have to take this much logic uh, to understand this one okay remember this is the base okay actually there is no need of this much logic but this logic will helps you to understand the coming multiplication steps okay now once again i am going to explain okay this is known as uh, this is also known as 1x1 method 1x1 method now so what is the first step first goes to first that means first digit into first digit so 4 6 are 24 drop 4 carry carry 2 next second step cross multiply and add the products 2 6 are 4 3 is the 12 plus 12 24 24 plus carry 2 you should not forget the carry every time okay you have to add the carry 24 plus 2 26 so i have dropped in the 6 and carry 2 and what is the last step 2 3 is 6 6 plus 2 8 so our answer is 864 now let us take one more example suppose if i want to multiply 43 into 24 i want to multiply 43 into 24 now start from the right side what is the first step first goes to first so 3 4 12 drop 2 carry 1 so whatever be the number you are getting okay whatever be the number you are getting as an answer drop the ones place and carry remaining to the next number whatever be the number just carry it to the next number now second step second step is crosswise so 4 4 16 3 2 6 16 plus 6 22 plus carry is 1 23 so i have dropped 3 and carried 2 now what is the last step 4 2 8 8 plus 2 10 so our answer is 1 0 3 2 one more example see 37 into 86 i want to multiply so this time okay once again i am explaining you what is 7 6 times 42 drop 2 carry 4 cross multiply 18 plus 56 okay 3 6 is 18 plus 7 is a 56 18 plus 56 is how much 74 okay 74 plus 4 so 74 plus 4 78 so drop 8 carry 7 okay next what is 3 8 24 so 24 plus 7 31 so our answer is 3182 so like this we can calculate double digit into double digit even you can uh, no need of writing the carries even you can remember the carries in the mind okay how now let us take one example suppose uh, let us take 83 into 67 i want to multiply 3 7 is 21 drop 1 carry 2 in the mind carry 2 in the mind now what is the next step you will immediately multiply right 8 7 yes or no 8 7 56 okay now immediately add the carry what is the carry in there in your mind 2 so 56 plus 2 how much 58 now multiply another one and add okay so 58 plus 18 so what is 58 plus 18 76 so drop 6 carry 7 in the mind for some time carry 7 in the mind now what is 8 6 are? 48 48 plus 7 55 so your answer is double five six one so like that you can calculate we even without putting the carries on the pen uh, carries on the paper okay like this we can calculate double digit into double digit okay without uh, taking rough work and without doing many steps so just within a single step we can able to tell the answer okay now we will see the next step that is double digit into triple digit now we will see double digit, triple digit into double digit okay So, 
so triple digit into double digit now you can see here okay we have to start from the right side before starting from the right side i want to ask you a small question when i'm drawing the pattern okay i'm putting some steps so for double digit into double digit okay directly i put three steps okay for triple digit into double digit okay i am putting four steps so what is the logic behind the number of steps that we can do the number of steps we can do a calculation either this is a triple digit into double digit multiplication or double digit into double digit multiplication i will tell you the logic okay so number of steps equal to number of steps equal to okay so if you are doing further double digit into double digit double digit into double digit okay so here there are two digits so in this number also there are two digits two digits plus two digits okay F minus one that is two plus two four minus one three so there are three number of steps in double digit into double digit multiplication so Sub suppose if it is triple digit into double digit the number of steps equal to number of steps equal to here there are three digits and this in this number there are two digits three plus two minus one every time we have to add the number of digits in each number and subtract one from that one so that you will get the number of steps in which we can multiply the both the numbers okay so three plus two equal to five minus one four that means there are four steps involved in triple digit into double digit that's why i have put four steps in this one okay so now let us start on the right so now you got the logic behind number of steps okay so that you can continue now start from the right side so this time the same logic but one room is increased in the top there are three rooms this time okay but only two persons who has to enter into the three rooms the person one person two remember every time you have to start from the right side okay now now we'll start as we know what is the first step the person one enters into room one remember this person two has no chance okay now in the second step only the person two will get a chance before that one the person one has to go to which room second room why because he has already entered into one room okay now he will go into the second room now second person got a chance to go to yes exactly room one so in the second step person one goes to room two now person one has to go to which room yes room three now person two will go to room two see it should be in a sequential way okay both the both the persons has to act parallelly okay and the two they have to go in an order way orderly way in a sequential way okay they have they should not uh, 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 release the sequence okay they should not unfollow the sequence okay they have to follow the sequence now what is the last step anyhow the person one covered all the three rooms okay now there is no work with the person one no need to worry about the person one just leave person one when when he covered all the rooms now finally you tell me person two goes to room three exactly okay i think now you got the logic okay so why i'm saying this person one goes to room one person two goes to room two then person two goes to room one like this okay why because these steps indicate okay with which numbers you have to multiply in which step okay so this these steps will represent what okay the multiplication order of the digits okay now now let us imagine let us take some example i want to multiply 324 into 43 i want to multiply 324 into 43 anyway this involves four steps of course i am going to write uh, in an enlarged way okay just for your understanding sake but not every time now let us start first start from the right side first goes to first that means this as i said the arrow mark represents what the multiplication of the digits okay the multiplication of the which digits okay which the arrow mark is showing okay so what is 4 3 is a 12 drop 2 carry 1 in the second step first goes to second and second will get a chance to go to first now whenever what i said whenever there is an overlap of the arrow marks you need to cross multiply the 
digits and add their products see here 2 3 are 6 4 4 are 16 6 plus 16 22 22 should not forget the carry any time okay 22 plus 1 23 drop 3 carry 2 now what is the third step first goes to anyhow here the first goes to first first goes to second first goes to now this time first goes to third the sequential way they have to go okay now here in the second step second goes to first in the second third third step second goes to second now three is a nine four two is eight nine plus eight 17 17 plus two is the carry so 19 drop nine carry one so finally the first digit work is over it covered all the three digits now what we have to see finally second goes to last that is setting the second goes to third so what is four threes 12 12 plus 1 30 so finally what is our answer one three nine three two okay so we'll see one more example here suppose if i want to multiply 364 into say some uh, 78 i want to multiply these numbers so let us start from the right side what is the first one first step is 4 is a 32 yes or no what is the first step first two first 4 is a 32 drop 2 carry 3 second step first goes to second and second goes to first so 6 is a 48 7 4 is a 28 48 plus 28 76 76 plus 3 79 so drop 9 carry 7 what is the third step First goes to third, second goes to second. So 8 is a 24, 6 7 is a 42. 24 plus 42, 66. 66 plus 7, 73. So drop 3, carry 7. So finally, what is the last step? 7 3 is a 21. 21 plus 7, 28. So our answer is 28392. One more example. 538 into 64 i want to multiply 538 into 64 so but this time i'm not going to write the carries like this okay i'm going to put the other carries in the mind and i will explain okay you need to follow carefully now see here so what is 4 8 32 okay drop to carry 3 in the mind for some time carry 3 in the mind for some time okay don't say just you have to alter the mind a hey, mind please carry 3 for some time definitely the carry will store it okay whenever you want it will get back that is the uh, management of the mind okay so please don't forget you have to out of the mind that you need to carry for uh, you need to carry three in the mind now first goes to second second goes to first okay so three fours are 12 12 immediately add the carry what is the carry there in the mind three so 12 plus 3 15 so why i am saying to add the carry immediately otherwise you will forget there is a chance, scope of scope of forgetting the carry that's why you need to add the carry immediately okay so what is 3 4 are 12 12 plus 3 15 okay 15 and what is the next step 6 sides of 48 so 15 plus 48 how much 63 so i'm dropping 3 carrying 6 carrying 6 in the mind exactly now what is next step 4 5 are 20 immediately add the carry 26 26 plus 18 26 plus 18 how much 44 okay so drop 4 carry 4 in the mind so what is the last step 5 6 are 30 okay 30 and what is the final carry 4 so answer is 34 so what is my answer finally 3 double 4 3 2 like that you can multiply okay triple digit into sing double digit within a single line okay that too within less time okay you may think that it may take some time but when I'm explaining it is taking time but when I start doing okay within no time I'll get the answer okay within seconds so that now we will go for the triple digit into triple digit but before going to calculate the triple digit into triple digit what you need to do just pause this video and go for the pattern draw the pattern of triple digit into triple digit now you tell me before drawing the pattern how many steps are involved in the triple digit into triple digit multiplication how many steps first for the double digit into double digit how many steps we gave, go for okay we have go, gone for three steps 2 into 2 4 minus 1 sorry 2 plus 2 4 minus 1 3 
just like double digit into double digit there are three steps involved similarly triple digit into double digit how many steps involved four why because three plus two five minus one four similarly triple digit into triple digit three digit plus three digit means three plus three six minus one five so there are total five steps involved in the triple digit into triple digit multiplication so you just go for the pattern drawing just pause this video and go for the pattern drawing for some time okay and check the pattern with the coming explanation of triple digit into triple digit multiplication now we will see triple digit into triple digit multiplication and how to do the calculation within a single line and that within less time first of all we have to see the pattern okay now triple into triple so how many steps involved in this one okay so total five steps 3 plus 3 6 minus 1 5 okay so total five steps start from the right side first goes to first now second and third dot or later or okay I, okay fine let us take a uh, room one and room two and this time room three here person one person two person three okay you need to just understand the logic so you need to understand the logic okay which logic which digit should be multiplied with which digit okay to get the answer right now let us see first first goes to in the first step in the very first step first goes to first and second and third persons had no chance now in the second step obviously first goes to second why because it in a, it is a sequential order okay now second got a chance to go to first why because it is waiting whenever the first room got vacated okay the second person immediately enters into that room okay second goes to second but even in the second step also the third person has no chance okay now first goes to third second goes to second and third goes to first now in the third step only the third got a chance to start okay now this third person covered all the three rooms so no need to worry about this one now second goes to third third goes to second even in this step also the second covered all the steps even no need to worry about the second person here now finally third goes to third okay now let us apply the same logic okay same pattern to triple digit into triple digit let us take one example okay so 243 into 324 i want to multiply 243 into 324 okay so it involves again how many steps five steps one two three four and one more okay fine now let us start the first step okay what is the first step first goes to first or the first digit should be multiple. it means what if I say the first person is going to room one means okay it means what the first digit should be multiplied with the first room first digit in the top okay first goes to first or first digit should be multiplied with the first digit from the right side I am saying from the right side remember okay so what is four threes twelve okay so drop two carry one okay every time you have to drop the one place and carry the remaining what will be the number okay you have to carry to the next number now first goes to second and second goes to first or on what it means you need to multiply first digit with the second digit and second digit with the first digit okay you need to cross multiply right after cross multiplying you need to add the products also now let us see 4 4 is a 16 3 2 is a 6 16 plus 6 is how much 22 22 and you should not forget the carry 22 plus 1 23 drop 3 carry 2 now third step first with the third second with the second and third with the first see you need to multiply all the three products at a time okay and you need to add those products you need to multiply all the okay three calculations you need to calculate all the three multiplications okay and you need to add the products right see it is little tough to add all the three products at a time so what i mean to say first you calculate any two products add them and then add the 
third product in the next calculation okay how just see here first i will see two fours are eight three threes are nine eight plus nine eight plus nine is how much 17 okay keep 17 in the mind for some time 17 now to the 17 add the third calculation 4 to the 8 so 17 plus 8 is how much 25 so 25 plus 2 carry so 27 drop 7 carry 2 now anyhow so what is the next step second goes to third third goes to second or second digit should be multiplied with third digit and third digit to be go for second digit 4 plus 12 16 16 plus 2 18 so draw 8 carry 1 okay finally what is the last step 2 3 is a 6 so 6 plus 1 7 so my answer is 7 8 7 3 2 let us take one more example suppose if I want to multiply say 724 into 386 I want to multiply this one okay start from the right side First, first step. What is the first step? First goes to first. Or first digit with the first digit. 4, 6 is 24. Drop 4, carry 2. Second, first to second, second to first. 12 plus 32. I am saying directly. I am not saying 6 to the 12, 4 is the 32 like that. Okay. So 12, 32. So 12 plus 32, 44. 44 plus 2, 46. Okay. Now, first goes to third. Third goes to first and second to second. So six sevens are forty-two. Three fours are twelve. Forty-two plus twelve. You have to first add these two products. Forty-two plus twelve. How much? Fifty-four. Then to this fifty-four, next add the third product. At a time you no need to calculate all the products. Why? Because it will become very hard. Okay. So fifty-four plus two is a sixteen. Fifty-four plus sixteen. How much? 70 70 along with the carry 74 so drop 4 carry 7 now what is the next step 7 is a 56 2 3 is a 6 56 plus 6 62 62 plus 7 69 so drop 9 carry 6 now finally what is the last step 7 3 is a 21 21 plus 6 27 so your answer is 279464 four. one more example but this time without putting the carries on the paper just putting the carries in the mind okay we are going to multiply three digit to three digit number within a single line okay now let us take some numbers 543 into 225 i want to multiply 543 into 225 okay so first what is the first step three five is a 15 so drop five carry one in the mind carry one in the mind don't forget now second step four five is a 20 immediately add the carry immediately add the carry so 20 plus 1 21 21 plus 6 what i'm showing 21 plus 6 means 3 to the 6 that one i'm telling you directly okay you need to catch that one so how much 21 plus 6 27 27 means dropping 7 carry 2 in the mind for some time remember you have to you need to carry 2 in the mind for some time next 5 5 is a 25 plus 2 27 27 plus 6 33 33 plus 8 33 plus 8 41 so dropping 1 carry 4 in the mind next 5 to the 10 10 plus 4 14 14 plus 8 14 plus 8, 22. So drop 2, carry 2. Finally, 5 to the 10. 10 plus 2, 12. So your answer is 1, double 2, 1, 7, 5. Okay, like that, putting the carries in the mind. Okay, we can calculate even within a single line that too, the work is going to uh, taken by totally by the mind. Okay, so your mind power is also going to increase a lot if you practice this multiplication techniques. Okay, like this we can calculate triple digit into triple digit. Okay, now finally I am going to explain one last example. Okay, how to calculate? You can calculate any number into any number by just following this logic. Okay, so finally, yes, we will see one example how to multiply any number into number. Just two or three uh, examples I will explain you. Okay, so in the last few examples, 
okay so we have seen triple digit into triple digit double digit into triple double into double like that we have came in a sequential order but this time i'm not going to go in a sequential order i'll take some random number let us take some uh, four digit into double two digit let us take some two three four six into 42 i want to multiply this one I don't know whether how many steps it will come it doesn't matter to me how many steps it will come but what the matter is okay if I understood the logic okay which logic which digit should be multiplied with with which digit in which step okay if you understand the logic which logic which digit should be multiplied with the which digit to get the calculations in an order okay so see here first what is the first step 6 into 2, first goes to first, 2 6 are 2 more, drop 2 carry 1. Okay, now anyway, I know that in the second step, first goes to second, and obviously, second will get a chance to go to first. Yes or no? Second step, in the second step, first goes to second. Already, first to first is over. Now, first goes to second, and second will get a chance to go to first. Yes or no? Right? Now, so 4 2 is 8, 6 4 is 24. 8 plus 24. 32 exactly 32 plus 1 is the carry you should not forget 32 plus 1 33 now you tell me in the next step first goes to which step first goes to third exactly it is coming in a sequential way you have to follow that sequential way okay so 3 to the 6 and second goes to second so 6 plus 16 22 22 plus 3 25 drop 5 carry 2 and now first goes to fourth and second goes to third okay so 4 plus 12 16 16 plus 2 18 so drop 8 carry 1 finally what is the last step 4 to the 8 8 plus 1 9 so your answer is 9 8 5 3 2 see this time i am not uh, uh, bothering about the number of steps here what i'm bothering about is whether my calculation steps are they going in an order or not are they following the pattern or not okay are they following the logic or not okay if my logic i can uh, easily understand okay it's not a problem to calculate any number into any number and to get the answer within a single uh, step that to within less time finally i want to show you i want to multiply some five digit into three digit okay so let us take some five two three four six into some three digit you can take some uh, let us take uh, three one four okay I want to multiply so 52,346 into 314 I want to get the answer within a single line now let us see first so you tell me just okay you do one thing just put the video on pause okay and go for this problem okay then after solving the problem you can cross check the answer okay now now I'm going to do. see here first so six four is 24 okay 6 4 is 24 means dropping 4 carrying 2 next 4 4 is 16 plus 6 16 plus 6 22 22 plus 2 24 okay now 4 3 is 12 3 6 is 18 12 plus 18 30 30 plus 4 1 is 4 30 plus 4 34 34 plus 2 36 okay now 4 2 is 8 3 4 is 12 8 plus 12 20 20 plus 3 23 23 plus 3 26 okay next 4 5 is a 20 3 3 is a 9 20 plus 9 29 29 plus 2 31 31 plus 2 33 okay next 1 5 is a 5 3 2 is a 6 5 plus 6 11 11 plus 3 14 so drop 4 carry 1 finally 5 3 is a 15 15 plus 1 16 so what is our answer 1 6 4 3 double 6 double 4 okay so you please check the answer with your answer okay and like this see any number into any number it doesn't matter okay if you understand the logic okay if you are perfect with the additions of the products okay yes you got you got it with okay so like this we can calculate any number into any number okay and this is the general technique you can apply this technique to any numbers any kind of numbers it doesn't matter okay so with the help of urta triyak bhyam vertically crosswise which is the crowning gem of vedic maths okay we can easily calculate okay any number into any number